we're going to say to people, say no to abortion, then we have to have a yes to send them to. And that yes is a place like a Good Counsel Homes where that mother can come and she can embrace life and she can have somebody there to stand with her throughout the pregnancy and after the child is born. Father Benedict, in a very practical way, starting the Good Council Homes with Chris Bell for mothers, children, and a culture of life that is life-giving. It extends. Uh, it's not just words, it's action. Tonight our guest is Chris Bell. Why and also how yeah. did you ever begin? You're kind of young. Uh, I, I'm glad you said that because I just turned I, 31. The, you're 31. Well, 31. well and that, yeah. this, you've done a wonderful thing. You, how old were you when you started? Uh, 27 when we started. I always say if you find me a building, I'll, I'll open up a home. So we Do you hear that, all that. of you? Some of you have two or three homes. You don't need to. You can only live in one home at a time. So why don't you give one of your houses to Chris here? Caring for pregnant women, caring for their babies, is our natural and sacred vocation. And I don't know of anybody that does it in a more beautiful and tender and consistent way than our good console homes. And if you ever wonder about that or question it, I encourage you to drop by and visit like I did, and you will be convinced. So nice to see you. This is like a light in the midst of darkness, and I just thank all of you for this work that you are doing. an email by a woman named Jessica and she was seven months pregnant too and I needed to help find a place to live for her that was my assignment um, she was sleeping on a park bench I googled helping homeless pregnant women NYC there was good counsel I called a lot of other places and they said no then Chris Bell, and he basically said in 20 well, seconds I yes I was so impressed to say yes that's the magic of good counsel. Uh, they have God, they have grit, and they have guts. Jessica now has her own life. She has a career, she has a family, she's off on her own, and that's what good counsel is all about, right? In the pro-life movement, we're standing up for those that can't stand up for themselves, but you look at the work of good counsel homes and they really take it one step further. My wife and I support with our time and, uh, and with our money, good counsel. And the good counsel homes and Chris Bell and Joan for everything you do and for all of the help that you give these young ladies so they do have a place to go. Thank you again to Chris and to Joan and to Father Benedict Rochelle and for everybody from good counsel. For mothers and the poor, good counsel is way out in front as the guide of this kind of work. I'm so grateful to you for being supportive of it. I want to thank everybody for the work you do at Good Council Homes because it really does, to me, embellish what pr being genuine pro-life is. They say to a gal not just that, well, be careful, make sure you have the baby, but also when you have the baby, we're going to be here for you to give you all the emotional, financial, social, educational help you need. And I think that that's the greatest thing you can do. I realize in what situation most of these girls are. You're God's blessing. The people we actually honor tonight are the mothers that say yes to life in the most difficult situations so often. We give thanks to those who love and support them, the people with good counsel, the people who support good counsel. We pray every mother knows that she has love and support. We are recognizing 11 men and women from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut who represent hundreds if not thousands of others who are in front of the places of abortion, praying and pleading. There was a woman walking down the street and as she passed, I said, hey, do you know somebody that's pregnant? We can offer help with uh, house and school. And she stopped in her tracks. And she said, you know, I'm on my way to Planned Parenthood, but you mentioned something about housing. She actually chose life and she went to a good council home. And she was able to, you know, get her life back on track. In this pro-life movement, 
The work of Good Counsel is extremely important. They provide actually a home, a home for a pregnant mother. They extend love and care and resources for her to follow her heart and her mind and assure that her preborn child has a home. Good Counsel, who's providing those services, needs the assistance of literally your funds as well as your prayers and care. God loves a cheerful giver. And you know, there's something that happens. The giving transforms us, it makes us more like the Spirit of Christ. I urge you to dig deep and to help support this very worthy cause, in addition to our honoring of uh, our dear friend, Father Murray. The pro-life movement is people who step out of anonymity and do something, including Joan Andrews, Joan Bell, now married to Chris, and they do a lot of different things, and they produce a lot of good. If there's anybody I should support, it's this mission. Good counsel is an outstanding expression of the social teaching of the church, which comes to us directly from our Lord, who teaches us in the parable of the last judgment. Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me.